and swap in the Quicksilver. Dairy B. Let's go. All right, I like to do five, four. I proc here on the four. Wait till four seconds. Th two, one, three. I kind of interrupt three with another five. Go right back into the four where I proc. That's my rotation for Quicksilver, and it seems to always work. I will replace the four with the six right here. And then I will skip the four and go two, one, three if it's ready, and then five, four again, and it puts the proc right back on the four. To me, I feel like that is his optimal way to proc, and my three is interrupting, and I'm missing her. I hate when she gets out of there, but yeah, when there's four seconds left on the cooldown on four, I go two, one, three. And then I'm going to sneak in a team fight in a six here. See if we can't do a big boost. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, the proc fucked up. That's all right. We can reset that proc. Here, should reset here. Yep, there's the reset. I am going to hold off on using the tier 3 because I want that team fight up. Because if I can have that team fight, that's where I get that big burst of damage. Right here, team fight 6. <coughs> there's that big burst of damage. I've got a destruction on him. It's, it's a waste. Uh, you can do the same thing with a normal Obi. Energy is probably one of the best for Quicksilver, but I'll show you his build after this. This is only 79. This is not that high. Quicksilver can do higher than this on Proxima. I mean, he is using the Fury Coulson team up, which is phenomenal for him. Here we go again. Team fight six. There's the big damage. Boom. And there we go. Not quite a hundred second clear, obviously, because it was off from the 320, but it's pretty legit clear. I'll actually clip this and put this on my YouTube channel, because I think this is worth revisiting. Let's see. I'll go ahead and show you what I've got on Quicksilver. Like I said, he can use an obelisk. He doesn't need destruction. Destruction is kind of a waste on him. It really is. But let me go ahead and show you how I have him built. So Quicksilver... He's ranked 5,790. He's not even that high. I've got 30,000. I don't even have... His attack speed's over-capped, but that's just because how he is. But the crit damage is pretty high. The crit rate is pretty high. Do not have the ignore defense capped, which I really do need to cap that out soon. Uh, cooldown's 50. Got crit rate on his skill here. Obviously everything at 6 stars. I've got a POA fully awakened... And I've got the CTP of Destruction, 31% crit damage, Guard Break Immunity, and the 200 proc. And then Uniform Options. I'm rocking some Physical Attack, some Ignore Defense, some Skill Cooldown, Critical Rate, Dodge. So I probably could switch this over to like one of these. Actually, if I work on this and got his Ignore Defense up, he'd probably do even better, honestly. So I'll probably build this up so I can max out his Ignore Defense because I think that'll make a difference. So on his items here... I only have two of these awakened. i probably re-roll this, but I do have a physical attack ignore defense here because I was trying to get his ignore defense up higher because I wanted to max it. And then I got four awakened over here, four awakened over here, and five awakened on his last one. So that's what I've got rocking on my Quicksilver. Rage is probably not a bad idea, because he's great with an energy, and Rage is better than energy, obviously. Because his two skills does more damage than his fourth in this uni. I have Rage and Quicksilver, lol. Fair. Fair.